What's up gang, Case here with our at home strength work for Friday, December 18th. Eight minute alternating EMOM today, 20 second handstand hold, uh, and then 20 seconds of V-ups or a V-up variation. So um, don't be intimidated by the handstand hold. Find a blank spot you've got somewhere on the wall. Drywall will hold up just fine. You've never walked up your wall before. Um, and just go as high as you're comfortable with today. Uh, and we'll talk about uh, specifically why on a core piece here in a moment. So if you get halfway up the wall and you start to feel yourself arch out through that low back, I want you to focus on squeezing your butt tight, pulling your ribs towards your belly button, Keep your eyes down between your thumbs for now and then press those hands through the ground. Those feet should be together pointing those toes. If we feel more comfortable walking closer to the wall and can still keep those ribs down, butt tight, quads flexed, then go ahead and walk closer to the wall today. But that big hinging factor is gonna be, where do I get to that point? where I start to feel myself arching out, and that's where I wanna stop and focus on bringing that rib cage down. That's one of the big problems that people get into why they can't support themselves when they're upside down, is they're not keeping good core tension, so you're not able to keep your balance. Once you can keep your belly, butt, and quads tight while you're upside down, the rest of the balance piece gets a lot easier. Uh, you'll rest for the Remaining 40 seconds of that odd minute, then we'll go into V-ups. Need to be able to hold that hollow position in the bottom, low back on the ground, feet pointed, hands and feet close to the ground. From there, fast to the top, keeping legs straight, meet as close to the center as you can. And if you find yourself bending your knees, or losing that low back contact when you're on the ground, then let's go for a tuck up. Still need to be able to hold that hollow position. Keep your hands off your legs and off the ground at the top. Try to keep those heels off the ground as well. Make sure we're reaching long in the bottom. If you're struggling to maintain that hollow on tuck ups, then third option today is gonna be 20 seconds of bent knee rocks. So knees, feet together, pointing our toes, hands close to the ground, pull your ribs down to your belly button. That's gonna make that bowl, lock that in, start that rock, and it's just small rocks, hips up, shoulders up, hips up, shoulders up. So do the variation of those three that you can move most consistently with over the course of the 20 seconds. You'll rest the remaining 40 seconds of the even minute, and then you'll go back to your handstand holds. That's gonna be it for our strength work today, and uh, we'll see you back soon for our Metcon.